Okay, if KDN Live is weird for you, for example, in my case, selection tool does not have a key assigned. It should be S, but it's nothing. If I hit S, I get guide. So to fix that, it is not enough to delete the folders in app data, the obvious ones that have KDN Live in the lower level folder. So these, these, and these, and also this, and these are temporary. This is uh, not enough. So let's take a look at these two. But first, let me demonstrate. Okay, I'm in app data. First, we go to local, and here's KDN Live the folder. Let's delete it completely. Now let's go to roaming. Here's a KDN Live folder. Let's delete it completely. Now let's go to local. It contains KDN Live RC. Here is KDN Live RC. Let's delete it completely. And now I'm going to start KDN Live again. Okay, here's KDN Live. And still, selection tool, nothing. S does guide. Okay, so these two are left. Local KXML GUI. KXML, here we are, KXML GUI 5. And here we have KDN Live. And here we have KDN Live UI. RC. Let's take a quick look. Well, I don't know. Let's just delete the file. We could have also deleted the folder. Let's start KDN Live again. Oh, hello! Selection tool S is restored. Just for safety's sake, I don't know what the stale file is supposed to be. Let's see if we can even find it. KDN Live, and there's a gar garbage file. It's also zero bytes. I'm just gonna delete it. Probably doesn't matter. Let me just start KDN Live just to make sure that it doesn't explode because of that. Well, S and X still work, so this is fixed. Hope this is useful for you too. Delete these to fix everything, hopefully. Until next time, ciao.